Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. This one is vlog style. I found some really cool items that I want to share with you in this video. I also took pictures. I will add those at the end. There's tons of new products out right now that I wanted to share. So make sure you stick around till then. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Remember to comment and like this video. Okay, if you're watching this on Sunday, this is your friendly reminder that Dollar Tree is having their friends and family event. This is on the 15th. You get 10% off your entire purchase of $10 or more. They should have these up at the register for you to pick up. Um, and it says it's on, it's on everything. You do need to have this little coupon with you at checkout. Here's what it looks like on the back. Just remember to get $10 worth of products. Hand this to them. Here in my area, all it does is take off the tax, but anything is better than nothing. So good luck and happy friends and family event. Okay, I'm gonna start out with my favorite two finds if my phone will stop acting like this. They had a ton of new books out at my Dollar Tree. Make sure you guys are checking out the book sections. They can be amazing. So I picked up just two, but I took pictures of a ton of others. This one is 940 Saturdays, Family Activities and a Keepsake Journal. This book is huge. I wish I would have had this when my babies were little. This is such a marvelous idea. So what it is, here you go. You start with Saturday number one. It gives you a uh, space up top to put the date and the year. And then you just write what you did on that Saturday so that you can make every Saturday as special as possible with your kids. And then at the very back, it's got like a little envelope that opens up and you can put like ticket stubs or movie stubs or anything like that in it that you did any kind of little keepsake but it's basically like that all the way through you wouldn't have to do this as a family event of course this would be great for anybody just you know to use I thought it was just amazing amazing and you can see that the price on this is $24.99 in the US I'm gonna just hold this up here in case anybody wants to screenshot and read about it but that is a wonderful book find and the other one I picked up is sort of along the same thing it says Q&A a day 365 questions four years 1460 sketches and it's a four-year journal so this one is in a little plastic um, thing that keeps it safe so it doesn't get scratched. It shows right here or tells right here what it's about and it says question a day for creatives. So it'll have a little question on the side and so it shows that this one was done in 2015. You just go on through each day and you draw something in it. So then when it starts the next year you just start at the first page the next year and then you'll put it here your drawing then you go all the way through again then the next year you see what i'm saying it is so cute and it retailed for 16.95 in the u.s kerrigan has already laid claim to this one whether she'll use it or not i don't know but this is another great idea these would make wonderful gifts just make sure you look through the book sections because I had looked, I was standing there and went through it five minutes before I even found this one. Then when I found it, I just kept looking and that's when I found this one. Okay, I hauled these just a couple hauls back. This is the facial wipes. They are the charcoal. It says detoxifying, draws out dirt and oil. You get 30 black wipes. Yes, they are black. They do have a nice smell to them. I have already used um, some that I got in the other pack and I was impressed. So for a dollar, these are really good. They are a green briar brand. They're quite thick, so they don't leave a lot of like a fuzz on your face and they don't tear apart when you use them. So if you have these in your store, you might want to check those out. They also had 
the Carmex Ultra Hydrating Moisture Plus Lip Balm. It's got aloe, vitamin E, it's a soft vanilla scent, SPF 15 sunscreen, and you get two of those. I don't know about you guys, but you can't turn around in my house without finding a chapstick, and I like it that way. I know they're not great for you. You hear all these horrible things, but Preston is pretty much addicted to chapstick, and I like to have them, especially with sunscreen. So as soon as I go out, I like to have them on my lips. I don't wear lipstick unless I'm videoing, and if you watched any of my first videos, you know that I never wore lipstick in those. So, I love the fact that it has SPF uh, 15 in it so I can just apply it and not have to worry about my lips getting burned because they get burnt really fast when I'm outside. So, be on the lookout for those. They are in a little cute tube. Here's what it looks like. And Chris and Briley were with me. <laughs> So I picked up a few things I normally wouldn't. Although lately I've been hauling a ton of the little um, containers like this. These are the Sure Fresh Round uh, and you get five of them. And Briley uses these to store her slime in that she makes. And let me tell you, there are probably about 15 slimes in my house right now. So we needed more containers. And Chris Metal Detects. Guys, he has a metal detecting channel. I will link that below if you want to check him out. I'm getting ready to go metal detecting with him in the next couple of weeks because we have like four metal detectors. And I used to do it all the time, just not had much time recently. So now that he's home, I want to go some with him and I will be in some of his videos if you want to check that out. So he uses these wire brushes to clean off the coins and some of the stuff that he finds. And he really likes these. They work great. They are a wire brush. And I think you're supposed to use them for like car detailing, maybe for the tires and stuff like that. But like I said, he picks these up. I think this is the third set he's picked up to use for that. Okay, Dollar Tree has some new food items in. If you have watched my Taco Bell Crunch Wrap recipe um, that I've done, I think I just uploaded that this past Saturday. I'll also link that below if you want to look. You know how excited I am to find these for a dollar. These are the soft burritos, and you get eight. I think at my Walmart they were retailing for like a dollar seventy-five. So I did pick these up and they are so soft. So I'm excited to make our crunch wraps with these next time. They also had the taco shells in. So be on the lookout for those. And they had in the old El, pa old El Paso traditional refried beans. This one was old El Paso too. I didn't mention that. And these are like $1.50 at our store. I love refried beans. It's just me and Chris that'll eat them. The rest of the kids won't touch them. But I think they're really good when I make taco salads or even the crunch wraps. I'm considering adding these to the next crunch wraps that me and Chris eat. Okay, here is another repeat buy for me. I love getting any bread products from the Dollar Tree, especially when they're name brand. They had some more of the Cobblestone Philly Steak Rolls. These are um, what we use to make subs with, and I picked up some deli meat from the grocery store this week, so it's been insanely hot here, like I'm sure a lot of people know in their area as well. So, I picked up some ham and turkey to make subs one night this week, so I wanted to have these. These retail for over $3 at Walmart, my Walmart, so I love to get these at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up, surprise, surprise, some Pop-Tarts. They had in the chocolate chip cookie dough again. They had a ton. And since I bought it still has that dollar off three repaint, I went ahead and just got three of these. I put them up in the top of the pantry. They have a good date. They're for October. And, you know, here school starts back in a month. So I went ahead and picked up three of these to have. Again, I know I mentioned Abrali was with me. And she wanted some of the Carmel, Carmel Werther's Originals. I'm having a hard time talking today. So these are the hard candies. And they're the 2.65. They're individually wrapped pieces. I'm not sure why she wanted them. Because I've had these a couple of days now. And you can see she's still not opened them. And I picked up my 
very favorite candy at the moment. These are the, I think it's called Gets. Um, these are the caramel creams. Someone posted and told me that they have these in chocolate at Walmart. I'm afraid to try them though. If you've tried these in the chocolate, tell me. Are they really good? I mean, really good. Are they better than these? Because guys, I love these. These are like my absolute favorite. They did have some of the banana pepper rings in, and this is the Polar brand. This is a name brand here. I'm not sure if it's everywhere, but these would be great on our subs. Chris loves banana peppers, and so do Preston. This is the 12 ounce jar. It's quite a bit, you know, it's large. It's bigger than the Pop Tart box. So I picked up one of those for them to eat on their subs. I like to put pickles on mine. They like banana peppers. And instead of tasty cakes, guys, I picked up some hostess items this week. I know you all are surprised, but they had these and they were only a quarter each. So I picked up one of each. This is the cinnamon streusel. You get two in it. It's been in the bag, so I sort of smushed it. It'll still get eat. And I picked up one of the hostess snowballs. It's coconut and marshmallow covered chocolate cake with creamy filling. Chris hates coconut, so mm, these will be mine or Preston's. And I used to adore these. These are the Zingers, the raspberry iced cake with creamy filling. Oh, so good. And you get three in there. I think they also had the lemon ones that I used to love when I was little. Actually, I think the lemons, lemon ones were my absolute favorite. But I'll show you. They had it marked over, so the price was only a quarter on these. I thought that was a great deal because I scanned them on the Walmart app, and each one of these were coming up a dollar. So if I'd have bought them there, I would have paid a dollar. This is everything I got. This is what happens when I record like this. Yeah. I end up with a doggy on my lap sleeping. He does not like to be away from his mommy. Okay, last but not least, I picked up several more of these locker style bins in white and I've already spray painted those and put them in my utility room. I do have that makeover video. I will link that below in the description if you would like to check it out. And here are the other items I found in picture form that I did not pick up. Make sure you stay on the lookout for these inside Dollar Tree right now. These are all some really great finds. Of course, I'll be adding some bonus footage of Quincy at the end. I hope everyone has an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Twincy Doodle, Twincy Doodle, you've got your piggy. I see you. We're just sitting out on the back screen porch tonight, guys, and look, oh, I love these. These are amazing. It just lights the porch up so nice. And of course, Quincy crawled up here on the couch to chew on Mr. Piggy. What's it doing? What you doing? Hi, huh, puppy. Hi, huh, puppy. What you doing? What's mama's boy doing? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Quincy. Quincy. Quincy.